Hi guys, welcome back to Manifest with Armine. My name is Armine and my law of attraction consultant. This video is going to be a bit about the state akin to sleep. This, there are so many questions around this and you know, it's one of those things that you can listen to people talk about it day and night. Everyone's gonna have a little bit of a different perspective on it. The, the most direct thing to do is practice it and see how it shows up for you and direct it in a way that you feel very relaxed and at ease and you'll know that because when you introduce your subject of choice in that moment there's no resistance now we're still going to talk about it because it does help to talk about it just be very careful who you listen to if what i'm saying doesn't like resonate with you then don't listen to it if what someone else is saying to you doesn't resonate with you don't listen to it because I, I know how overwhelming the information overload can be um, online, especially when it comes to law of attraction, manifesting, Neville Goddard, all that stuff. Um, so when it comes down to it, you're, you're going to let your emotions guide you, your feelings guide you. That's really what it is. Um, I do want to read this ex excerpt from Five Lessons, Neville's Five Lessons, um, because I think it gives a really good, you know, hits the nail on the head um, description of part of what you want to focus on when you're talking about the state akin to sleep. So it says, control your moods as you go to sleep. I cannot find any better way to describe this technique than to call it a controlled waking dream. In a dream, you lose control, but try proceeding your sleep with a complete controlled waking dream, entering into it as you do in a dream. For in a dream, you are always very dominant. You always play part. You are always an actor in the dream and never the audience. When you have a controlled waking dream, you are an actor and you enter into the act of the controlled dream. But do not do it lightly, for you must then reenact it physically in the three-dimensional world. Now before we go into our moment of silence, there is something I must make very clear, and this is the effort we discussed last night. If there is one reason in this whole vast world why people fail, it is because they are unaware of a law known to psychologists today as the law of reverse effort. When you assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled, it is with a minimum of effort. A minimum of effort. <laughs> very, very key. You must control the direction of movements of the movements of your attention, but you must do it with the least effort. If there is effort in the control and you are compelling it in a certain way, you are not going to get the results. You will get the opposite results, whatever they may be. That is why we insist on establishing the basis of the Bible as Adam slept. That is the first creative act, and there is no record where he was ever awakened from his profound sleep. While he sleeps, creation stops. You change your future best when you are in control of your thoughts while in a state akin to sleep. For then effort is reduced to its minimum. Your attention seems to completely relax and then you must practice holding your attention within that feeling without using force without using effort do not think for a moment that it is willpower that does it do not think for a moment guys that it is willpower that does it when you release barabbas and become identified with jesus you do not will yourself to be it you imagine that you are it. That is all you do. So when I hear people saying that they're struggling, they're struggling, they're struggling, there should not be any struggle. If there is struggle, you're not doing the work. It's, it, the work itself is not difficult. It's not, um, it shouldn't feel like you're suffering or forcing in any sense. If you are, then all you're doing is you're perpetuating your state in the first place of lack and, and confusion. What you're doing is you're letting go of that. You're letting go of the heaviness of the self torment. You're relaxing into it. And if you're going to approach it with force or with like that willpower of like, I'm going to get this done. I'm going to prove that I can do this. You know, when it comes down to it, remember that the reason you want what you want is to feel better. So the only path to it is to start feeling better. You have to lighten and, and raise your vibration to a point where it's 
much more of a match to the thing that you desire. You have to become it. You have to become the version of yourself that is experiencing it. Um, like Abraham says, you're, you're not manifesting the thing. You're manifesting the environment that is conducive to that thing showing up for you. Um, because that's what's in our control. Our control is our, our environment as in our emotions and the way we're, we're seeing life. You know, the, the, the way we're seeing life through our eyes in that moment, that perspective, um, that self-concept, that is self-concept. That is, are you viewing the world through the eyes of a king or are you viewing it through the eyes of a pauper? Whatever the words are. <laughs> like, so those are so key. They're so simple that the majority, vast majority of people will not even experiment with it. Like Neville said, test it. Test it yourselves. Don't take my word for it. Tonight, when you lay your head to sleep, get yourself in that state akin to sleep, release the resistance, and use your imagination to get into that state of the wish fulfilled. There's no force in it. There's no willpower. The only willpower is to just decide to do it. That's it. But deciding to do it is not like building a building. You know, it's not that kind of effort that you're doing. You're deciding to relax into it. And um, if you're unwilling to relax, then I don't know what to tell you. Wait until there's a moment in time where you're willing to relax. Do, don't even bother, I'd say, approaching this if you're not willing to relax. That sense of relief that comes when you do these processes is the point of the process in the first place. When you feel relief, it's because you're raising your vibration. Every time you raise your vibration incrementally, you feel a bit of relief and a bit of relief, a bit of relief because you're going from such low vibrational states that feel very heavy to lighter states that feel better. Um, so use your emotions as, as guidance and never force yourself into a process and then say it's not working. There is nothing about any process that requires um, force. All right, guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click like. If you have any questions, comment below. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, please do so and click the bell for notifications. Thanks, guys. Bye.